Hey, I'm Sides. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Logic Pro and why it is the best DAW in the world. There are so many reasons why it is the best, but what I think is at the top of the list is that it's only a one-time payment of $199 and you get unlimited life updates. And with these updates, they invest a lot of time and money and they listen to our feedback and make these updates amazing time after time again. So let me show you my favorites. This is a small but mighty update. Let's jump right into the DAW and get ready to be wowed. Oh, also, if you have bought in my Logic Pro Crash Course, something that's cool about this book and this course is that it includes free updates. So I'll be working on a chapter for 11.1 .1 that will be in the book. Let's go. Also, if you haven't gotten the book yet, I'll put a discount link in the caption. Let's talk about what's new. So the best thing is, well, one of the best things is back in the day, as in yesterday, if I wanted a reverb, I would have to go here, scroll down forever. No, now we have the dun 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 Search. So I can just do our verb. Bam! There she is, baby. No drama. No drama at all. We also got search in our stock logic plugin. So let's say I go to compressor, go over here, and now I want to search lead. I can just search by the track name, and I don't have to spend hours and hours and hours, months, years, centuries searching for the one, the, the one track I want. Pretty cool. Thank you, Logic Pro people. You can also press Control Command P and the search window will pop up and you can search right in here. Compressor. Look at all these compressors I got. And here's another cool new update for you. If you press X to open up the mixer window, you can also search for buses here. Like if I do delay, bam! There it is. What a dream. Dream come true. Dreams do come true after all. So no more whining about the search feature, all right? The next super duper duper cool feature is now we can move around the tracks in the mixer window. So if I just click on any of this gray area and then you need to let it pop up. You can't just like, no, it won't work like that. You have to click on it, let it pop up, and now move. It's a pop and move, if you will. Bam, moves it for you. Another cool thing, if you hold down command and then click on tracks, let's say I wanna click on that one, I wanna click on that one, I wanna click on that one, and I wanna move them together. All I have to do is click in this area, they're gonna connect, combined, move next to each other, and then I can move together. Pretty cool. Also, another little handy dandy thing, if I wanna get rid of that plugin and I don't wanna go through like this and then whatever. Hover on it, hold down command until the eraser pops up, and then you just click, bye bye. It's gone. Let's say I wanna get rid of all of these EQs really quickly. So all I have to do is click on the first one, hold down command, click, 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 click. Now, hold down command, get this little eraser, click, bye bye. All of them are gone. Here's another new update that's really cool. If you click here and then go to customize, control bar and display, now we can click sample rate and buffer size, bam, and it's just right here. So I can change my buffer size right here, which is pretty handy because you get to have to do command comma, make sure you're on audio, then go here, then wait for a while and time is money and we don't have money to waste or time to waste. What else? Now when you bounce in place, which is control B, you have some more options. You can do it as one file per track, one file per region. So like, let's say I do that and then I do control B and then I do one file per region, check it out. It just chopped up each of the regions for me. So that's handy if you want them to be all chopped. 
They added some new sound packs that are totally royalty free, which I am still downloading, but even the ones I just heard, pretty cool. Another really cool thing that you can do is now you can share your song right to voice memos. So if you're like me and you love having a million bajillion voice memos or listening to your songs in a voice memo format, you can just do song to voice memo, put the name of the song, the quality, you can export it by region, share. Do, 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 do. Oh, they also added an incredible new reverb. So this reverb, let me find it, is a Quantec Room Simulator plugin, which provides advanced digital reverb effects with a high degree of customization. It uses a unique algorithmic reverb technology to replicate how sound waves behave in different acoustic environments. And you get two models, Quantec QRS and Quantec Yardstick. Let's listen to a few of the presets. Pretty cool, check it out, it sounds really pretty. And I think I'll make another video about this, but I just wanted to show you my favorite updates and some cool things that you can do with the new update. Don't forget, if you bought the Logic Pro Crash Course, I will be adding another chapter specifically with all of these updates and I'll go into a little bit further detail. And if you haven't, there is a discount link for you in the caption. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps. Like and follow for more.